Are you still using pen and paper to keep a track of your data or something more complicated like Google Sheet and Excel? Let me show you how you can use Leo to make your business at least 10 times more efficient. Hello and welcome to Leo. My name is Kajal and I am here to guide you on how to use Leo to make your business operations easier. In this video, we will cover creating a file in Leo, sharing files with your team members, task management made easy, setting WhatsApp automation to send messages automatically to you and your customers, creating a dashboard to track all your data. Before we begin, please note that Leo is compatible with iPhone, Android and desktops. In this video, we are showing you how to use Leo on a desktop. Please check our separate video for Leo on mobile. Leo has 100 plus templates ready to use divided across 30 plus business categories. To get started, go to templates section, choose your business category and browse through the available templates. Disclaimer, browsing these templates can be a little too enticing and you can blame our developers for the same. However, there's a dedicated search bar for you to find your required template. If you don't see your template, you can create a custom template. Let me show you how to create your first document. Under My Docs, go to Create Item and New Document. Name this document whatever you want and there you go. You have created your first document. By default, you have three columns and 10 rows available. You can click on this plus button to add another column or you can click on this plus button to add five more rows. To edit any column, you can click on the drop down box and here you will find all the different editing options. Let's rename this column. Click on rename and let's name this column customer name. Click on submit and you're done. In Leo, you can add any type of data like mobile number, location, images or attachments. Let's update our second column to be the mobile number of our customers. So, we will again click on the drop down button, click on change column type. First, we will rename this column as contact number. Now, we can see the column types as text. We will click on change button. Scroll down till we find mobile number and update column. As you can see, this icon has changed into a mobile icon, which denotes that it is a column of mobile numbers. Before we go further, let's just add one more column where we add verification documents of these customers. So, we will click on the drop down button, change column type, rename this as verification document and change the column type to attachment. Click on update column and there you go. As you can see here, we have a paper clip icon which denotes attachment. Isn't this super easy? In just two minutes, you can create a file where you can store your customer's name, their contact number and their verification document. Similarly, you can create any type of file according to your requirements. Leo allows you to work with your team members in real time. You can use Leo to collect data from your team members or share data with them. Let's create our first team. As you can see, we have a create team section here. Click on the plus button. Now you can see this new dialog opening up. You can click on create new from here or here. Let's name this team as sales team. Now you can add or invite your team members using their name or email address. Let's add one team member. Now as you can see here, we have a drop down button which indicates the permissions of this team member. We will discuss about these later. Let's select can edit and create team. There you go, your team has been made successfully. Now your team members can access all the files under this team. You can share a document without creating a team as well. Let's go back to our first document that we created. As you can see on the right top corner, we have this share button. When you click on this, you get all your teams on top or you can add or invite a new member by typing out their email or mobile number. Now, let's talk about the different ways you can share your document from Leo. 
in Leo, you have a full control over how you share a document. We get five kinds of permissions, namely admin, can edit, entry only, can view and custom. Let's learn them one by one. With admin permissions, a user can edit, change or share the document. With edit permission, a user can edit the document but they cannot share it further. With view permission, a user can only view the document and they won't be able to make any changes. With entry only permission, a user can only add data to the document and they can only see the data they have entered. Custom permission gives you full control. You can select permission for each column. You can either edit, view or hide individual columns. After all, it's your document, so your choices. Leo allows you to manage tasks very easily. You can assign tasks, keep track of pending tasks and Leo can send you automated WhatsApp messages to remind of tasks. A best friend we all need. Let us again start with a new document, create item and new document. We will name this document as task list. Click on create and there you go, you have a fresh new document. Now let's rename the first column as the task. The second column as the assignee. We will click on change column type. We will rename this as assignee. Click on change column type. Now scroll down until you find assign task, update column and there you go. Now let's say we have a pitch meeting and let's say the example from the sales team has to perform this. So we will select this email ID, click on submit. Now you can further customize this by adding a due date. Let's say we have a due date. You can also set a priority level. Let's say this is a high priority level. You can also add notes to it. Let's say don't be late and submit. There you go. You have assigned a task to your teammate without any hassle. Now your team members can have a bird's eye view of all the tasks that they have to perform by simply clicking on my tasks. They can use all these filters available on the left hand side such as open, overview, high priority, due today, due tomorrow or completed. Your team will also get repeated WhatsApp reminders if the task is overdue. Task can be marked completed by simply clicking on mark complete from here and the assigner will get a notification of the same. With this much ease, you can easily complete all your tasks and avoid repeated follow-ups. Way to go team! With WhatsApp automation, you can automate your communication with your customers. Which means Leo will send WhatsApp messages to your customers automatically. This is going to be a huge time saver. Some examples where you can use WhatsApp automation are sending confirmation message, welcome message, payment reminder message or order status message. Now let's see how to automate WhatsApp messages in three simple steps. Let's go back to our first document. Now the first step is a click on automation right here. Now we will click on auto message. This will bring a new dialog box in front of you. The first one says trigger when. When you click on this drop down button, you get three options, namely WhatsApp message on new entry, which means whenever you add a new row of contact details or in this case, your customer's details, one WhatsApp message will go straight to your customer. The second one is WhatsApp message based on status. This follows a particular column which can keep a track of the status of an order, a payment, etc. And the last one we have is on specific date which follows a date column and the message goes out on a specific date. For this example, let's select WhatsApp message on new entry. Now when you have a contact number column already, Leo will detect it automatically for you but in case it did not you can click on the drop down button and select the contact number lastly you have to choose what message do you want to send out click on auto message drop down button 
and here you will find different templates according to different scenarios now if you can't find a suitable template for you you can always request for a custom template by clicking here now let's select lead welcome for this particular example now on the right side you can see a preview of the message so let's quickly map these values for customer name select your customer name column for phone number enter your phone number where you want your customers to reach out to you in our case we will use leo's support number click on save for extra information add custom value and talk about anything that you want to convey to your leads or new customers for example talk about the discounts that are going on the sale that is going on or some special discount coupons for your new customers to try for this example let's say use try 10 now click on save click on done click on add automation and there you go you have successfully added your automation now let's type a customer's name in this case i am using our support mobile number now as you can see a purple icon has popped on the top of this table you can go back to the dashboard and leo will automatically send a welcome message or whatever template you had chosen to the new customers or you can manually trigger this automation by clicking on this purple icon as you can see it shows a tick mark which means all the contact numbers have received an automated whatsapp message on behalf of your business how efficient and time saving is that leo dashboard allows you to be on top of your business it's a perfect way to get a quick overview of your business or check the health of your business creating a dashboard in leo is very simple let me show you how click on the dashboard tab on top click on create dashboard give your dashboard a name let's say cash register summary now for on document click on select file choose the document click on calculate and choose total for the total amount of a column you can use this operation to have a quick look at your total expenses or your total sales click average to get an average of all the rows in your selected column or you can click count to have a total count of all the rows from your selected column i am going to click the total for this example for column i am going to choose amount now this is good to go but the best part about leo dashboard is you can add split by which means you can split this data with something else let me show you how click on add split by click on split by column i will select the transaction type now click on create let leo do its magic now as you can see i can not only see the cash available in my register but i can see how much cash came in and how much cash out you can add splits on multiple bases depending upon the columns present in your document but all in all from your dashboard you can get a quick view of your business